please stand. Welcome to St. Dominic's Church for this celebration of the Eucharist. This week we are celebrating the 25th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Let's build a house where love can dwell and all can safely live. A place where saints and children tell how hearts learn to forgive. Built of hopes and dreams and visions, walk of faith and fault of St. Dominic's Parish, special those who are visiting us, guests, you are welcome. A very special welcome to our dear young children who are making their first Holy Communion, the Jacqueline, Irene Padzik, and Jesse Maria Alfaro Kazula. Welcome and a special way along with your parents, family members, Yes, I know you are all excited. I could see on your faces, you know, how much you're excited to receive Jesus for the first time. And you are surrounded by your loved ones. Let us give thanks to God for this wonderful occasion. And this Holy Mass is offered for the repose of the soul of Benedict Michel and Eddie Caldera, along with the family members. We pray for the repose of these souls. May Almighty God, the good Lord, grant these souls eternal rest. May their souls rest in peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. We are before the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ and as we gather together to celebrate this Eucharist, first and foremost, seek God's forgiveness and mercy. Lord Jesus, you are friend of children. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you love us with an everlasting love. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. 
receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And now let us pray. O oh God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts, we may merit to attain eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Isaiah. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked person forsake their way and the unrighteous person their thoughts. Let that person return to the Lord that he may have mercy on them and to our God for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, the Lord is near to all who call on him. The Lord is near to all who call on him. Every day I will bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. The, the Lord, Lord is near to all who call on, on him. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. The Lord is good to all, and his compassion is over all that he has made. The Lord, the Lord is, is near to, to all who call on, on him. The Lord is just, in all his ways, and kind in all his doings. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. The Lord, the Lord is, is near, near to, to all, all who, who call, call on, him. on him. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, Christ will be exalted now as always in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me, living is Christ and dying is gain. If I am to live in the flesh, that means fruitful labor for me, and I do not know which I prefer. I am hard pressed between the two. My desire is to depart and to be with Christ, for that is far better. But to remain in the flesh is more necessary for you. Live your life in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus spoke this parable to his disciples. The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with the laborers for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. When he went out about nine o'clock, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace and said to them, you also go into the vineyard and I will pay you whatever is right. So they went. When he went out again about noon and about three o'clock, he did the same. And about five o'clock, he went out and found others standing around. And he said to them, why are you standing here idle all day? They said to him, because no one has hired us. He said to them, you also go into the vineyard. When evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his manager, call the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and then going to the first. When those hired about five o'clock came, each of them received the usual daily wage. Now when the first came, they thought they would receive more, but each of them also received the, the usual daily wage. And when they received it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, these last worked only one hour, and you have made them equal to us, who have borne the burden of the day and the scorching heat. But he replied to one of them, friend, I am doing you no wrong. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what belongs to you and go. I choose to give to this last the same as I give to you. Am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me? Are you envious because I am generous? So the last will be first and first will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. Whenever the issue of generosity comes up, it evokes both a positive and a negative response. The positive response is trust. In the parable, those hired early in the day were confident in the security provided by the formal contract with the owner. And this is a business deal. While those hired much later in the day, there was no mention of any contract here. He said to them, why are you standing here idle all day? Go into my vineyard and work. The workers relied on the words of the owner. They trusted that he will give whatever is right. And they were not mistaken. You know, God's generosity is beyond the comprehension of everybody. On the other hand, the negative response to generosity is, you'll find in the last sentence, envy, jealousy. Are you envious because I am generous? You know, the envious, jealous, 
person looks for ways to destroy another's life. The envious, jealous person usually ends up destroying himself or herself. The envious person does not appreciate his or her own gifts in life, but can only see the gifts others have. And he hates them for that. And thus, eventually, his hatred, his jealousy, his this enmity eventually destroys him. As you all know, everybody is different. I am different, you are different. Everybody is unique. There are no two persons the same. No two persons are the same. But we have, we do not have the right to compare or contrast others with ourselves. The moment we compare ourselves with others, two things can always happen, as you all know. Either you will see other people less talented or blessed than we are. So we become proud and arrogant. Or you will see other people better than we are. So we become envy and bitter. As humans, we may always ask the question to God, how does God distribute his gifts among us? We may feel envious of people who are more gifted than we are. Yes, often we are envious of people who are more gifted than we are. Better looking, more intelligent, more wealthy, etc., etc. But how God disposes his gifts among us, brothers and sisters, it is entirely up to him. We cannot be envious because God is generous. Moreover, before God, it is not a question how many gifts we have received, but rather how I use the gift in his and our neighbor's service. That counts, not how many gifts we have. For God, what counts is how I use my gift, my talents that he has given me. That counts. And so we have to make use of our gifts wisely for the service of God and for the service of others. For example, one, a person may be more intelligent if he uses his gift of intelligence to swindle others, he or she is misusing his or her gift. And he, and he or she will be made accountable for it before God. Last Sunday, we talked about anger. And I said, the only antidote to anger is forgiveness. And today we are talking about envy, jealousy. And only antidote to envy is humility. It is a virtue that helps us to realize who we really are before the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ. Who we are when we ask ourselves, when we humble ourselves, come before the Lord, we realize we are sinners, the rejects. But God continues to love and bless us despite of this. You know, such is the formula used, such is the formula of holiness used by the saints. You know, instead of comparing themselves with others, the, the saints always compare themselves with the Lord. And when we do this, when they do this, 
always they had only two things to say. We may guess it. One would be, I am sorry, Lord. Second, thank you, Lord. Yes, when we compare ourselves with the Lord, we realize our nothingness, our shortness, our littleness. How little, how small we are. And only those two things can come from our mouth. Sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The last sentence, again, very interesting. It says, it says the first will be the last and last will be the first. As you read, the first reading, you know, we cannot impose our thoughts, our ways on, on the Lord. My thoughts are not your thoughts, Jesus says. Nor your ways are my ways. We cannot tell God how to be God. We cannot tell him how to be God. Our way of looking, our perspective of looking at people, situations, things are totally different from the way God thinks. We cannot tell God how to be God. But we must be ready. We must be ready to work, to heed his call to labor in God's vineyard as we have received it. And that demands we are open to God's mercy in our lives and that we become vehicles for God's mercy in the lives of others. Yes, brothers and sisters, as we are today, reflecting on the words of God, you know, we need to ultimately ask ourselves how much I have to thank the Lord the blessing, enormous blessing that we have received. Let us be content. Let us be satisfied with what we have. You know, let us compliment each other, encourage each other, and build the kingdom of God, build our faith community. And that way, God would certainly multiply the gifts that we have, and we would be able to live a peaceful, a joyful life. So as we thank the Lord for the gift of these two young children, Jesse and Jacqueline, who are making their first Holy Communion. Parents, thank you. Thank you for passing on that faith to your children and becoming their uh, uh, inspiration. And family, friends, thank you for joining. This shows how much we care for the faith of our children how much we care for the growth of our children, to be guided them, molded them, shaped them in the right direction. And this is what we are doing. God will certainly bless our efforts. May our blessed mother help intercede for us. Amen. When we stand and profess our faith, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, that was buried. He descended to hell on the third day. Come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of sins, the forgiveness of sins, the life in the body, life everlasting. Amen. Jesus calls us to be servants of all. With this in mind, we bring our needs and the needs of our world to the Father. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those called to leadership within the church, that by their example, they will teach us to act wisely, love tenderly, and walk humbly with our God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For leaders of nations and governments, that they will work to find just ways of bringing peace to their people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for all our young children today who are receiving their first Holy Communion, that they may grow in their love and appreciation for Mass and for Jesus' presence in the Blessed Sacrament. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For refugees and migrants and for all seeking work, that they may always be treated with dignity and respect. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick or suffering, homeless or housebound, let us pray, especially for those whose names have been placed in our altar, that they will know the healing love of Christ in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed, especially Nesta Pugne, Benedict Messiel, Eddie Caldera, deceased members of the Aguar and the Silva family, that God will embrace them on their journey to eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now pray in silence for our personal intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, hear the prayers we bring to you in childlike trust. Help us to acknowledge your greatness and to serve you with grateful hearts. We make these prayers through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, the fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer, the fruit of the wine, and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With a humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquities, cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you, are, that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord to him. The host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices be praised, join with theirs in one chorus of exalt and praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. Oh, son. 
you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy. Therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup We proclaim your death, O Lord Until you come again Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Thomas our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Lord, with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostle, Saint Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to our Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Let us now offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Body and blood of Christ we ask you by the two words. Please note, Jacqueline and Jesse, along with their parents, they will be receiving the First Holy Communion. I'll be distributing them first, then we will come to the pews. Kindly be seated wherever you are. Thank you. 
one step backward. Okay? Okay. So you're very good. Come on. Okay. You guys are able to see her? Okay? Jack Lane, you ready? Yeah? Nervous? No. Hey, you're happy, am I right? Excellent. Okay, she's ready. Jacqueline. Mommy will help you to take off the mask, okay? Wait, wait. Jacqueline, the body of Christ. I 
Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Pray to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of our battle. Your protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humbly pray, and to thou, a prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl to the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Now I call upon Jacqueline and Jesse. Please come up. Here are the two stars. They're shining because there is still somebody big, very big in their heart. Am I right? How do you feel, Jack, uh, Jesse? Excited. Excited? What else? Uh, very happy. Very happy. Excellent. Jacqueline? I feel happy. I did it. And I feel amazing. Look at them, the, how beautiful they look. Give them a big round of applause. Congratulations. <laughs> and here I give away your certificates. Jacqueline, Irene, Patsy, congratulations. And Jesse Maria Alfaro Kozula, congratulations. Thank you, parents. Wait. Okay. Okay. Want to come up? We'll give you another final blessing. Yeah? Along with you. Yes. Thank you. Uh, the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Amen. Oh.